Someone is trying to attract your attention at that window up there. is ended. Once more, Willie Fool has been released from Bureau and Fire. Please, Master, you are in good health? Oh, I'm all right, Willie. You're a little bit better than all right, Andrews, because this thing has removed a very nasty suspicion, which I don't mind admitting I was harboring against you. Eh, hey, Doctor? Against me? Yes. But why? Because I don't think you'd hardly blow yourself up just to prove your innocence. I'm afraid you'll have to look a little bit farther than Chinatown before you find the cause of these disturbances. Let's move out of here. It's getting a little too public. Good, I could do with a cup of tea. my friend. Now I may make a satisfactory report to my superior. You have but one superior now, Sonia. Yes, sir. I have no time to talk. We can't be seen together. It is now seven minutes of three. You will go immediately to the apartment. And at exactly three o'clock, you will telephone Dr. Wu. When he answers, you will speak to him in Chinese, understand? Yes. Do as I say. I will explain later. Sergeant, it's two men at the Grant Street Tunnel. All the main arteries leading into Chinatown must be guarded. No white person not having legitimate business is allowed to enter. Get it? And here's something else. Don't give this to any of the papers. Right. What do you mean you're going over to see Dr. Wu? Haven't you caused enough trouble? Listen to me, Martin Andrews. I'm tired of the way you bully me and kick me around. If I want to go see Dr. Wu, I'll go see him, and it's none of your business. Oh, but it is my business, Miss. I feel responsible for you. Do you, Marty? Of course I do. You haven't, and you never have had the slightest idea of how to take care of yourself. Is that so? Let me tell you, Martin Andrews, I'm in this thing, and I'm going to stay in it until the end, and you or nobody else can stop me. That Honorable Master not innocent of making Bona himself. On the contrary, Willie. Your Honorable Master has been very, very clever. Now, we wanted to get rid of the girl. She's gone. Never look a gift horse in the mouth, Willie. Let's go home. An excellent example, madam. A genuine piece of ancient language. Sorry, Mr. Wu. Lady, you'll have to get out of here. Chinatown is closed to tourists. Closed to tourists? Why, this is outrageous. Dr. Wu, may I speak to you? In a moment, Miss Whiting, I shall be with you at, at once. I tell you, my man, my congressman will hear of this. I'll get your bag. I wouldn't be surprised, lady, and I think it'll look fine on you. Goodbye. You wish to see me, Miss Whiting? Yes, I do. You still suspect Martin Andrews to be back in this trouble in Chinatown, don't you, Doctor? Yes, Miss Whiting. I do suspect Martin Andrews. But, Doctor, that's impossible. If Martin had been guilty... He would never have tried to blow himself up, now would he? It is what is known in this country as establishing an alibi. Hey, Wu. Sorry to bother you. Let me see your manner. At once. It would give me great pleasure to continue this interesting conversation. Perhaps we'd be more free from interruptions if you would await me in my humble quarters. Certainly, Doctor. Fighting. Yes. On a table in my humble quarters, you may find a copy of your friend Hitler novel. You may refresh your memory by reading the chapter which ends 
with the explosion of a manhole. Yes, certainly, if you wish, Doctor. Now I'm at your turn. my orders? Yes, Victor. I did. This time. Good. What happened? Nothing happened. Except the Whiting girl answered and told me to try again sometime. What does that mean? Mean? I tell you. Victor. Means one of our victims had escaped. But I have to bait them for a more dangerous enemy. This time, I let that little minx do the springing. Wait for me here. Don't leave until I return. Order! I was sitting over there reading when a man came through the window. I recall reading this trick in Martin's book. That saved my life. I'm your most humble servant. How shall I ever be able to repay you? Very simply, Doctor. Just give Martin a break. That's all I ask. Surely you must realize that even if he were capable of committing murder, he'd never stoop to a madman's trick like this. When madness is in the air, even the sane are affected. Then you do think him guilty. Very well, I'll go to him. I'll tell him what you think and I'll make him prove his innocence to you. Going straight ahead, sister. You heard what he said. Keep going. Victor, we may as well come to an understanding. How dare you presume to give me orders? You seem to forget that it was I who hired you. An underpaid scientist. And now, 
because the underpaid scientist has presumed to give orders instead of taking them, you're angry, eh? You're afraid that you, like Frankenstein, have created a monster if you turn and devour you. Victor, I don't understand. What are we doing here? Why did you have me call Dr. Wu? Chinatown is closed. Our mission is finished. Our mission is not finished, Sonia. Our real mission will never be finished. My bitter hatred for the races who hold us in contempt and regard us as inferiors will never cease as long as they have the power to force their will upon us. You hate them that much. And so should you. Don't you long for revenge as I do? Yes. I hate them too. But why should we waste our time on Martin Andrews and that girl? They're not important. Because the ruination of those raiders on the West Coast is the first step of my plans. They are the friends of the Chinese. They are in my way. They must be eliminated. I shan't be a party to it. It's murder. You can't afford to quit now. The police are searching for the person who has instigated these riots. Well, he's here. Good. You and the others stand by. I might need you. Right. Well, my dear, are you with me or against me? Do you value my friendship and discretion? You give me no choice, Victor. Then come with me. My dear, you think these things happen by accident? So you poisoned Martin Andrews' telephone. What else did you expect? It was my way. I assume command, our work progresses. <laughs> 